One of the marks of a healthy soil is good hydrologic function. But what does that look like? We joined J.B. Daniel on a farm in Virginia for an up-close and personal view of good and poor soil hydrologic function. When I work with farmers to talk about managing their livestock on the pasture, mm -hmm. there's varying degrees of management. Yeah, yeah. What we've done, I've gone and taken samples from two different pastures yeah. where the cattle are managed very differently. Okay. One being the, the far sample being continuously grazed, contrasting that to this controlled grazing situation. Very different above ground conditions, yes. but that also translates into how these pasture soils function. Okay, okay. What's next? Are we going to turn it on? Let's turn it on. Let's make it rain. All right, let's All make right. it rain. When the farmer is considering managing the, the production in his grazing system, yep, yep. the single greatest threat to the annual production of the forages in that pasture is available soil moisture throughout the growing season. Here where we are in the eastern United States, that summertime rainfall is critical. Okay. When we get a rain though, we may have gone four weeks, six weeks without one, okay. and when we get it, it's a thunderstorm okay. all the time. Right, right. So we might get two inches of rain in a 30 minute period. And an extremely hard rainfall event like that, a lot of it has the potential to run off versus being captured. Okay. Yep. Whether it infiltrates in versus whether it runs off, a great deal of that has to do with what's on the surface. Whether yes, it be yes. canopy, uh, surface residue, and the soil structure at the interface of the soil and the air. Um, we're able to to really look at what's running off this pasture, okay, these two yeah. different pastures, right, 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 right. right side by side, yeah, yeah. and we don't normally see this when we're out in the field. I mean, who goes out and stands in the rain while it's raining? Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> All this plant canopy and residue yes. protecting that soil surface is breaking the impacts of those individual raindrops. Right, so it's right. dissipating that energy, mm -hmm. spreading it out, and giving it time to, to infiltrate in versus run on. Right. Whereas okay. over there, as you pointed out, We've got open bare soil intermixed between the plant bases where it's just it's hitting that, it's already predisposed, ready to erode and run off. Yeah. And it's sealing and running off okay. much more quickly. Okay. The surface on that soil is saturated and it, as this um, oscillating head goes across, there's a lot of splash action okay. that you see right. with okay. those impacts. Yeah. Right, now my pants are getting wet, so we better <laughs> turn this thing off. I agree. <laughs> Well, okay, JB, before, before we carry on, tell us about the rain gauges. Basically, um, it's measuring right at uh, about 2.1 inches okay. of rain fell in, I don't know, it was eight minutes. Just an extremely intense rainfall right. event. You know, they tell us that over the course of the year, for annual soil loss, yeah. we, we can lose up to 75% of the annual soil loss in one event. So we've got to, you know, we've got to manage our systems day in and day out, knowing that we're not managing for the, the regular, everyday, or, or normal rainfall event. We're managing to capture that rain when it's really coming down. You know, rainfall, that's a free resource. Yep. How many free resources does a farmer have? Right. You know, fuel's not free, the yep. seed's not free, the fertilizer's not yep. free. Yep. Yep. Rainfall's free when we can get it, but we okay. can't buy it on demand. 